One of the most common problems when filming in low light is noise. Today we are trying the Noiser 3 by Red Giant. I made a review of Neat video in the past and a lot of people asked me if it was better than the Noiser. In today's video I'm gonna compare both plugins and show their strength. I heard that Red Giant has really improved their plugins so I'm very curious to see the improvement. It's a plugin for Premiere and Adobe After Effects and you can get a free trial of the Noiser on their site, I'll leave the link below. Last Saturday we went to Britney's dance studio to capture her in action in very low light setting. My assistant Patricia used my 5D Mark II at ISO 6400. She set her white balance to a custom blue effect and my husband Ben was using a super slow motion camera, the Sony RX 100M4 at I think 120 frames per second and he used a filter made with a kaleidoscope monocle by GlowFX and I was using my 5D Mark IV so obviously all these cameras have different abilities in low light and they create different types of noise and color fragmentation. So you see there's quite a bit of noise here. It's not that sharp. So what's nice with the plugin that I saw is that you can also adjust the sharpness while you do noise reduction, so that's cool. One thing, if you want to add a color correction too, you have to do it after you do the noise reduction. So let's say you want to add a look. I just drag and drop magic bullet looks on this clip. I'm going to make a fast color correction like this. I'm going to lower the strength a little bit and I just click check. So now I have my color correction done and I'm going to drag the noiser but I will drag it before my looks or before any color correction I would do and I can also remove this to, just to make sure I see it well. So now the fun part begins. <laughs> I'm going to just increase this to really be able to see her face. Now that we see it, there's some masking tools and there's one, two, three, four, five options. Reduce noise, smooth colors, preserve details, and you can sharpen it. You can change the amount here and the radius. So it's pretty straightforward. You can crank it up to 100% if you wish. It's gonna take more time to render it after. Make sure to watch this video in HD so you can really see how disgusting my noise is. So that's pretty smooth. It's a lot sharper width. If you look at the eyes. So I just want to see if there are some artifacts. So see here, I feel like it created more noise because maybe I sharpened it too much. It looks good with the color correction after. Okay, so I have another similar shot here. Same type of noise. For this one, I'm just going to check with neat video. Usually with neat video, I just click the setup and then I would zoom <laughs> on Britney's ass. I would auto profile and when, when you click on it you see like how it was before and you can also sharpen it. There's like barely no noise here. In my opinion overall both plugins are pretty awesome to remove all this noise. Uh, I'd say sometimes neat video wins and sometimes the noise wins so it's really depending on the clip and the type of noise. If we compare a still picture of both, you can't really see a difference. It's really hard to tell. I'm really pleased to see that Red Giant really stepped up their game and made a really good noise removal plugin. It really improved a lot. So now I'm going to try on a very noisy shot and I'm going to reduce noise to 100. So it does a pretty good job and I'm going to smooth the colors because all the little colors here were showing. So if I compare before and after, it did a great job here. I feel like we get some details that were not there before. If we check the amount of noise and color patching on her legs, I'm just going to try to remove it. So already it does a pretty fast and good job before, after. Yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think of it. And thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you like my videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to get more content every week. And I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye.